So here we want to see how to know which uh, notification was clicked at that point. So the important thing here is that all the notifications are leading to the single post.php regardless. So we can use that to determine which one was clicked. So if I go to single notification here, you see there's several links. So single post and this one goes to profile.php and this one goes to single post. So sometimes it goes to profile.php. So we're going to still use that. Now, what we want to do is add a, th a second uh, a second variable in this uh, post in this query string. So to do that, we go to the end here and concatenate like that and put the and variable. And I'm going to say and notif like that is equal to. So this is just a random word that I've used. So of course, short for notification. You can use anything you want. So notif is equal to, close that up, concatenate this. So let me put that there. But instead of content ID here, I'm just going to put the ID. So what we're getting here from the table in notifications is this ID here. So this is the ID of the particular notification so that we know it's been seen or not. Great. So here, uh, this should be done. So let me copy this to the others paste and paste. So let's come back here, refresh the page, go back, refresh the page. And now as you can see, if I point here on the bottom there, you can see that uh, there's no tiff is equal to whatever the notification ID that is. So let me click on this comment right here. Let me click on that one. So here we come with that. So we can just check for that. So single post, let's go to single post.php. And we can do it right. Um, we can do it anywhere, really. So I can do it right here. Let me just, since there are PHP tags here, so check if this is from a notification. So the way it's going to know is that if that is set at the end there, then it means this was from a notification. So we should mark that notification as clicked. Okay, so I'm going to create a function. Uh, I'm going to call it notification underscore scene like that. So that's it, we can just do that and let's put uh, from the get variable here let's put notif like that so we of course have to put an if statement so this only runs if this is set so i'm going to say if is set oh wrong is if that is set Okay, so if this is set, then we run notification scene and we put it there. So I'm going to copy this, go to profile.php and that's because also profile.php is part of the links that are on the notification. So whatever page is part of these links, you will have to copy and add that there as well. So let me go to profile.php great so you can really add it anywhere here let's go down here where we are reading some stuff actually it gets really complicated down here real quick so instead i'll just go at the very end here and paste it like so 
Great, now it's time to create that function. So copy that, go to classes, functions. So incoming new function. Function. We'll use ID there. Okay. So first thing, let's sanitize the ID because we don't trust any user input. So add slashes ID. Well, now we what we need is to read from the database. Create a query read like that. Where are they declaring the DB in here? How is this working? Content I own user ID role. Okay, so this hasn't worked yet because we haven't used it, but I can see it's not going to work because we haven't declared DB. So that's important. Add notification. Oops. Even here it's working without... Oh, I'm actually declaring DB here. Sorry about that false alarm. Okay, so let's come back here. Let me remove the wrapping of words. Awesome. So ID is equal to that, and then we new DB and save the query. Okay, but however, this is what is going to be happening here. Let me come back here. Notification scene. So we're going to be adding items that we've seen here, but we don't want to repeat records here because uh, that won't be very good. So we have to first check if the record exists. If not, then we add it there. If it does, then we simply ignore it. So the second ID we need is the user ID. Okay, so the user ID will come from the session. So I can just look for where I used the session here and copy. Did I use the session anywhere? That's one right there. Actually, I can copy the whole sentence here down and put it here. Okay. So the ID of the notification, the ID of the user that's doing that, the user ID. So insert into, we can write here notification scene. So we're inserting there and there's user ID and there's, uh, what else is there? Notification ID. So I'll copy that, put it there. That's it. So let me copy these guys. In fact, it's only this one I should copy and put it there. Remove the others. Okay, so this is what will be inserted. The user ID, the notification ID, just like that. But notification ID is represented by that. So let's remove that and just leave ID. And then user ID or what I could do just for readability's sake, I could replace these guys. And so I get user ID here as well and put it there so that we know exactly where, where these are going here. Okay, and then we save. Great. But we have to read first and see if it doesn't exist yet. So let's declare this above there. And let's write a different query here. I'm going to say query is equal to select or from notification scene where. So we are looking for where the ID is this one and that's the user ID. So copy where 
user ID is equal to user ID. And notification ID is equal to zoom out notification ID. My bad. I'm supposed to copy there. Put it there. Mm -hmm. We can limit one because we're just looking for one entry. So there we go. So where that is true. All right. So let me use that and say db read. Then let's assign this to a variable. I'm going to call it check is equal to. So of course check will be an array if uh, this is true. So we're going to say if is array check, but let's put an exclamation mark. If it's not an array, only then do we save. So push those in there like that. So that's the one right there. So we read if it was successful. If not successful, then we save. Very good. So let's give it a spin. So here I'm going to just refresh the page and I should expect to see an entry. And there we go. Very true. Refresh. I don't expect to see a second one. Very good. So back to notifications. Let's click on something else. There we go. Let's check. Two entries. Very nice. Okay, so with those, I can finally use that information to to do something else. So here, what I will do is copy this. Actually, maybe I just need that. Let me come to single notification. Okay, so here there is a notification div. So I want to be able to change the color of this one if it wasn't seen yet. So I'll put styles here. But then I will say, I'll put background color. Let's see what background color will be nice. Let me put red just for the sake of it. Back to notification. Okay. Because I've added a color now, I can adjust it. So let's go to something more reasonable. So this is entirely up to you, what kind of color you want to show here. Let me copy that result and put it here. But instead we'll put PHP tags and echo this. But instead let's use the shorthand like so. Okay, so this is the same as saying PHP echo. So now instead of this we will have uh, a variable called color mm -hmm. so let me come here and set color to nothing so say color what we could do is go to notifications.php and check what the background color actually is. So this is the one right there. So color will be equal to exactly that. And I actually lost this color. So let me <laughs> inspect the element and copy it again. Come back here and paste it. So when it's Seen, we we'll show this one. When it's unseen, we we'll show this one. Okay, great. So we just need to ask the question right here. So let me copy 
check if the notification was seen okay so i need to go back to functions.php and copy this query right here single notification so let me make sure that inside notification.php i'm actually creating db so i'm actually creating it from here but oh yeah single notification is loaded there so this will work fine so i don't need to instantiate it again inside this loop so i'm simply going to paste the same for them so select from notification where mm -hmm. so i just need to find user id and notification id now notification id is easy to find because it's right here so i will copy this and put it there but remove all that and just leave the id like so good but then user id now which is equal to the current user so what can we use if i go to notifications.php i want to see if we are using it anywhere and in our case we have this id over there but it doesn't hurt to use it again so oh actually we are using it right here in single php so i'm just going to copy that id and put it here or i can simply just delete that to make it id mm -hmm. okay so i think to be more descriptive i'll write this as scene is equal to mm -hmm. so here we will say f is array scene so which means it was seen so we'll put that let me move this and then we'll put an else statement like that and then color will be echoed there okay so let's see how that works and there we go so as you can see these two are unseen these are seen so at least there's a red so let's try and click on this one so we can see that it will disappear let me click come back and you see that that has disappeared click come back that has disappeared too if I am to delete some of these records let me delete something there yes you will see that uh, these two here are not seen anymore okay so now we're going to use this same parameter here to check for unseen um, what's this notifications right there okay so this will determine that number there so i'll see you in the next video where we do that